Hey guys, we're at one of the Basculus Pyramids. This is what they look like from a distance. You just find them randomly through. You can, they're the only things with sandstone around. <laughs> Are you having a losing fight with that ant? Oh, I had to get that ant. Sorry guys. <laughs> Bull of shit was, or was eating me. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to keep this place as bright as possible. It gets rather dark. I'm not going to worry about this hallway. Just bear with me. We'll... It's just a obsidian staircase that goes way down, wrapped in bedrock. Way, way down. Way, way. Yeah, well, it's going to be super dark. Okay, there's the lights. Okay. You drop into a room like this. I need to steal your torches. Because I want you. Yes, torches are mine. No mobs? Moss? Mobs? Nope, not this time. I don't have any blocks. I need to get some. So, in the meantime, since this is a break in the other recording, kind of like a time skip here in the future now, we actually picked up ultimate, ultimate bows, and they're pretty cool. We'll show you how they work. They're basically, you can spam right click, or you can do a precise shot. They're infinity one. A whole bunch of other good stuff. Quite powerful. Well, one shot most of the vanilla mobs. Basic vanilla mobs. Okay, now you just hit the maze and you just start wandering around. One of the tips we found is if you see an area that's super dark, don't go down it. Like, like probably that should have been once they turned it off. Even though it's just a maze, so it just takes a little bit of time. Wow, there's water in here? Yeah. Did you see it? Weird. Must be something to do with the generation. There's a spider web. Yeah, there's a. Um, this will break it. Yeah. There's a mine shaft remnants here. <coughs> These things are a little weird. They kind of weird. Through. There's a. I just found a compass and a piece of flint just hanging out. <laughs> just chilling. No basilisk. No, not yet. Oh god, I found it. Keep going where you're going. <laughs> okay. So here we have the basilisk room. It's very dark. I'll try to keep it as lit as best I can. Ow. Now, things get a little hectic. Their hitbox is like on their head. Ah. Okay. I'm behind you. Ow. He's like in us. Oh my god. And we're currently under poison and slowness and like point of view adjusting thing. It's pretty crazy. Break this. There's more room. One thing that we found to be helpful is um, if you can make an ultimate bow, you can actually shoot from a distance while you're kind of dazed. And it's kind of funny. You can, if you're good about it, you can sit down here and kill them from a distance. They don't really fight back. Or you can spam click it, but. I don't find the spam clicking is as effective. Funny enough, they do fight with each other, so you can have like giant battles, mob battles, where like WTFs will spawn and aliens. Aliens, yeah, that was a good one. We had aliens. We killed a number of these boxes right now, and you'll see why in a second. They were awfully good loot. Awesome, all three down. Okay, gonna put a light down for the peoples. Now these things, teleportation blocks. They think they're hilarious. <laughs> you step on them, they teleport you somewhere random. That's why I wouldn't suggest running in this room because you're gonna get bounced all around and it's really out. Not so fun. It's not as much fun as it should be. But it's fun watching other people get teleported. <laughs> oh, like that. Yes, like that. <laughs> Just like Do that. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No one here probably would. Pretty good loot boxes. You can see they usually have a part or two of ultimate in them, which I'm pretty pressed with now we're picking up every piece of trash around and like this one has four we've had them with two they do drop these oops don't want diamond no interest no diamond critter cages no interest so anything good on your end um i got a couple pieces of ultimate armor as well as another ultimate sword okay cool so i think we're gonna dig our way out of here now my boots are almost dead i'm dropping them off do you need another pair of boots, or did you swap them out? I swapped them. I had okay. another pair here. So back at the base, we've just been putting together armor sets and weapon sets. 
And an ultimate fishing rod, too. We got everything. Yep. Everything that I want. And can take. You also can find these. I think I showed you. I forget how we got one, but they're kind of fun. Is what they do. This is what we should have used. Was oh, that the thunder staff? Yeah. It starts fires, too. Yes. Beware. Okay, and the best way we find to escape from these places is you can just hit these. Oh, I found it. Found a cave? Tally ho! <laughs> You just drop into a cave and you just dig out clear a little bit. And then you leave. I am out of torches. You know what that means? Ow, damn it. Ow, I hit bedrock. Oh god. Ooh, what's in there? Spawner. Hey, you have any torches? No, sorry. Oh no. It's gonna be horrible for the peoples. Ow. Peoples can't see things. Okay, we killed it. We killed it. Oh, I'm like, what is still getting me? The dying tarantula around the corner pushed him off the ledge. Ow, it's still getting me. Another tarantula. Oh, there's a W. There's a WTF. Creeper, come on, there's a torch here somewhere. There's random light. There you are. Here you go, torch for the peoples. For the peoples. Two torches. Well, okay, I'll probably just splice this in with another video in that area. Or, I think this was a clear episode, but short episode, so sorry about it, about that, guys. But that's pretty much all there is to this. And I'll see you guys next time.